You guys are now in the cab of the largest, most powerful steam locomotive ever built. The big boy. <laughs> there are only 25 of her ever built. There's eight left in existence. Oh, wow. We have the only one on the East Coast. And of course, this will never run up here because this is, its weight and its size and stuff will not allow it to run up here. This locomotive, as it sits here right now, weighs 750,000 pounds. When it is loaded with fuel and water to go on the road, it weighs in at 1.2 million pounds. She was built to haul 3,600 ton loads of coal doing 70 to 80 miles an hour. She can actually pull 7,200 tons, but only about 30 to 40 miles an hour. So of the 25 built, there's only eight left in existence. We have the only one on the East Coast, and there is one that is still running.
primary purpose of this yard was to maintain locomotives. Uh, that was practically the only reason. If you had a passenger car that needed to be serviced, if you had a coal car that needed to be stored, that went someplace else. But if you had a steam locomotive or a diesel locomotive, it got brought here. And so it had all the facilities set up to run those locomotives. My name is John Biblo. I'm a preservation specialist with Steamtown National Historic Site. And I'm demonstrating how we change tires on antique steam locomotives today. This here is a wheel set from an antique steam locomotive. It was built in 1917. It's a relatively small wheel set. This is right under the cab. It rolls behind a much larger drive wheels with those big drive rods attached but it's similar in design to those drive wheels in respect that this outer portion is a cast steel, is a steel tire on a cast steel rim. When that engine rolls down those tracks, those tires wear. And that little flange that holds them on the rail inside the track, that'll wear thin, almost like a pizza cutter if you let it. Or sometimes you'll develop flat spots if you skid to a, a stop or slip climbing a grade. So we, the first thing we could do when we get those conditions, we could chuck this whole wheel set up on centers and turning it in a big wheel lathe using cutters, we could reprofile the outer portion of that tire. But once we do that so many times, we have to change a tire. So to do that, we use that ring of fire, we heat that tire up enough to expand it away from the rim. Two guys, one on each side with sledgehammers, will knock that tire off onto this bracket that we bolted through and we can remove the old tire. Then we'll hang a new tire up there. Now that new tire, we bore out the inside slightly smaller than the diameter of that rim. So we have to heat that up first to expand it enough to where we can push that on the rim. And as it cools, it shrinks, and that's what holds that tire on there. It's a shrink fit. So now that you had a period of instruction on changing tires on antique steam locomotives, we have a great volunteer program up there at Steamtown we could sure use to help.